Hilda here, Hilda from Hilda Crafty. Today I'm going to show you how to make miniature gunny bags with food grains as fridge magnets. They're going to look something like this. I've used chickpea here, corn here, red kidney bean here. You can use any grain that you want. For this, we will be needing a rectangular piece of jute cloth uh, measuring 9 cm by 24 cm. This is the right side of the cloth. Now we'll need to take the wrong side and we'll need to fold one centimeter from all the four sides. Then we will get this side here. We will put it together and we will use a hot glue gun to stick this side as well as this side leaving a little bit here which we will do later. Now I am using the hot glue gun for the two top folds. Now I'll seal both the corners. You'll be needing some polyfill to fill this uh, gunny bag. Nicely press the polyfill inside so that the bag looks nice and fluffy and then we'll take a little bit of uh, polyfill and we'll keep it on top like this to stick the grains. I am using elbow macaroni here. So to finish this, I'll use a small strip of jute cloth and I'll tie it round here and put a small bow. You'll need a fridge magnet like this, a round magnet. I don't have one at the moment. So you'll need to stick it with the hot glue gun and then you can put it on the fridge. I've used jute cloth strip and here I've used jute twine. Now to give it a distressed look because bags are a little dirty. So I'll use this brown ink pad and I'll distress the corners. Now this bag is a little smaller than this bag. For this I used 8 cm by 20 cm. Now I plan to make a kitchen uh, decor using these two bags. So for this you will be needing any piece of cardboard and uh, I am using this plate to draw the circle. Already cut one. Now the radius of this is 8 cm. You will be needing two pieces for this. Now I will be covering this cardboard piece with a jute fabric. So for this we will be needing the jute fabric 2 cm bigger than the circle as we will be folding it from all sides. I am giving slits all around so that I can fold the cloth. Now 
Now I'll be using this jute twine. I've taken three pieces and I've made a plaid. And I'll be using a piece of this to make a loop to put it here. Second piece of cardboard, I'll use another piece of jute fabric which is exactly of the same size. I'll stick it with the hot glue gun and then I'll stick this with the hot glue gun behind this. Now to cover this gap, I'll use the same plait which I made with the jute twine and I'll put it all round with my hot glue gun. I am distressing this as well. I've collected some weeds from my garden and I've put them together. I'd like to put this here before I put the sacks. Oh, I would like to put the two big bags here and the small one on top. So this is what I wanted to show you today. I hope you enjoyed my video. Do tune in again. I'll come back again with another interesting video. Till then, bye-bye, take care, and I love you all.